All right, guys. Uh, today we have a Dell Inspiron uh, 15-5548, and the model number is SP39F. Uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna try and fix uh, this part right here. As you can see, it's damaged and you can see the pins out. It should be a plastic piece. Basically, after the repair, I will show you how it's supposed to look like. I apologize. I apologize for all the noise because we have cleaning systems, air cleaning systems running here 24 7. So let's start by taking it apart. From what I see, we only got a few screws right here. Two in two. Oh, by the way, leave a like if you like the video, right? Okay, so. Yeah. One right there, another one right there. This is big ones, this is short ones. This is a rubber strip. I'm not sure if there is a uh, screws under it. So let me carefully try and take it out first without removing the plastics anywhere. So now we probably want to move it someplace up like that. All right. Okay. There could be screws under it. So first we want to remove the uh, battery. By the way, we are located in Chicago, and if you're local, you could stop by. We can we can fix it in about an hour. If you're not local, you could just mail it to us. Uh, if you mail it, the hundred bucks includes the labor, the parts, and return shipping back to you. All right. So seems like the battery is a bit flimsy, so you have to be kind of careful taking it apart without breaking anything here. Like that. Uh, now what we want to disconnect is uh, this uh, board right here. So we just disconnect this hinge by pushing the uh, hinge upwards. And Doing it like that, okay. Um, now the pain here is this cable right here. You can't disconnect it uh, because uh, it's going to be hard to connect it. I remember the system we did a few of those back in the days. Let me unscrew all the other screws and then I'll show you why it's kind of a pain.
Right, so here what you want to do is you want to lift up this tape right here, pull the tape backward, and you want to basically use that tape to remove the cable from the motherboard like that. Let's set that aside. So here is basically let me remove the fan. All right, let's remove the fan altogether. I believe. We modified the casing slightly by cutting some pieces out so that this cable could lay better. Uh, because what happens here, the, the screen sometimes goes bad because of this cable. It has no room to be anywhere here. Alright, so what, what do we do here? Hold on. Okay. So now we want to remove this VGA cable carefully, really carefully, like that, okay? Now, the thing is, we probably have to flip it over have to flip it over and remove the keyboard probably, maybe not it just it seems like there is a screw right there that holds the casing down a little bit. So let's see. Like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay. So you flip this guy outwards carefully you mark which way is up even though it says up so here you wanna flip this part upwards remove the cable up remove the cable set the keyboard aside you wanna flip this cable upwards the hinge upwards, this hinge up, and it's about time to fire up the soldering iron. So let's unscrew everything here. the top or we remove the bottom that's a really interesting situation because sometimes you remove the top shell sometimes you remove the bottom shell I'm not 100% sure which one is which in this situation all right so let's uh, Let's try and pry it from both ends. Alright, so here.
again, I am in no rush because it's not my laptop, so I don't want to break it. Obviously. You know, the funny thing is, I still don't know which one is separating where, top or bottom. And everything seems to, oh yeah, right there is one screw, right here under the touchpad. Good thing I wasn't forcing it. Alright, so now it seems like the top is the one that's coming down, coming out. Alright, so here. Now, here is the thing. You have to remove that cable now, not before. Because the back does not. There is room in the back for it to slide out outwards here like that now you can remove it now you can drag it under there and those cables are not supposed to meet like that like that like that okay so here like that. Wonderful. Alright, now. This is the jack right here, right? Seems like the hinge is broken right there. So we probably have to cement the hinge in place for it not to break in the future. So we take this guy out and uh, the thing is the cable is under this heatsink so we bend the heatsink a little bit you don't want to unscrew this part because you have to reapply the thermal compound now you want to mark which way is cable upwards Like that, and pull out the pull out the, the cable. All right, so this is basically. So this is going to be on the bottom, this side, and this one is going to be on the top. Alrighty. Um, so that's the cable you have to be really careful with, because it's bent like in many different places. Now you want to set that aside, and I need to go look for this particular uh, jack, we will either gonna put a new jack here, desolder all of that, or if I have one of those already made, uh, we're gonna put that. So give me one second. Feel free to check out the website powerjackrepair.org for now. Leave a like if you like how I took it apart. Um, and you can skip forward if you want while I'm looking for the part.
Well, it seems like I found both. I found the uh, jacks that the uh, exact replacement, and I found the cable. But this is an aftermarket cable, as you can see. The aftermarket cable is slightly longer, and uh, the problem here is the connections on the back are not going the right way. Do you see? The red should be. This is the original one. This is the aftermarket one. The wires has to be swapped around places. Yeah. So if you buy one of those replacement adapters online and plug it into the system, uh, because the polarity are going to be reverse pluses and minuses, you're going to fry the motherboard. And once you fry the motherboard, don't send it to us because we can't really do anything. So if you buy Chinese uh, uh, knockoff uh, cable, make sure the cables are the right color and they are in the right order. Basically, this is the incorrect order here. All right? So black should be there. So this is the one, the original. And the aftermarket cables, as you can see, they are much thinner than the original cables. Alright, so in this case, we're going to be using, I figured we're just going to use the, uh, these jacks right here. Alright, so that's how the jack should look like right here. Like that. Okay. Uh, this seems like it's the data. This is the plus, And this is the minus right here. I will show you a bit more. Uh, hold on. Let me take all this out. found uh, three other ones that also broke in right here so we did about three of those before and we had replacement cables for it as you can see this is also in the aftermarket and those are exactly the same model Alright, so the first thing the first thing first, we have to take the heat shrink off and the insulation off. And the way you do it is with the knife like that. Alright.
All right, the layout here is slightly different, but it's all still the same. The uh, the uh, minuses are black wires, the pluses are the red wires, and the blue wire is the data center signal wire. All right. So again, we have to take all of the insulation off in order to desolder the uh, cables. Right, so now we are ready to desolder that. I just need to double check configuration of the pins on the new jack. Alright, so this is a negative and that's the positive one. Okay. Seems very straightforward. Just in case you're gonna get a new jack like that one, you need to understand this is the black wire gonna come uh, right here. Let me refocus this, hold on. Alright, so the black wire gonna come this way, the red wire gonna come right here, and the blue wire gonna come to this one, right here. Okay, so red, black, and blue. Blue is the middle. The red wires are right there, and the blacks are on the side. So let me desolder this uh, wire.
No, I need to insulate the uh, the wiring. Shut down the solder cutter.
Now the insulation should take about uh, uh, five minutes, maybe ten minutes to harden. So you can uh, fast forward uh, because I needed to harden while it's uh, in the exhaust chamber because it's really stinky and really toxic. One of the reasons we wear gloves so that we won't get any of that on our skin. And my recommendation to you, don't inhale any of that stuff because it's all toxic.
just to show you this shouldn't be like that so we will have to put some um, some some cement here so it would be holding it down in place properly here we want to remove this pad right here we want to remove this stuff, remaining stuff that doesn't hold anything anyway like that alright so uh, what I want to do is I want to mix the cement right now and then put the put the jack here first cement the jack, cement the hinge make sure the jack is connected close the hinge and then assemble everything together so give me one second to mix the cement Alright, so cement is mixed, and now I want to put the jack in place. But jack still has the rubber hardening, so I have to put the put the exhaust here, so it wouldn't be smelling really bad. The cable is a bit stretched, but it's all right. Hold on. No, I don't do this. If I go like that. Okay, now it's fine. Now you want to close down the, the heatsink. Okay, 
kita and here like that so make sure everything's in place and now you want to cement this area and close the hinge so here we cement this area we cement a little bit here Okay, that's more than enough. So now we want to close down the hinge. Okay. So again, good thing that I wear gloves and I didn't uh, touch the, the cement. So. This is all extremely poisonous and toxic, so again, make sure you have adequate, adequate uh, ventilation. So now what you want to do is, you want to pull this wire through here, all right? And you want to pull this wire through here as well. little tiny thing I forgot to do. Yeah. First you have to connect this.
All right. Okay, so the longer screws are all on the bottom. So that's enough here for now. Okay. So make sure to secure the hard drive in place. Alrighty. Search. 
here, what you want to do is you want to connect keyboard cable, then another, this is for the light, like that, and snap it all in place, like that. Secure all the screws in place. This is a shorter, 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 shorter. Um, I guess that's all there is. So, two more screws. That's how it's supposed to look like, right? And this is not normal. Yeah. 
and this is how it was looked like, this is how it's supposed to look like. Alright, so like this at the end. Like that. There's a light right here. Let's press the power button. Right there, down. And starting windows. And the light right here is on, right here. Right here. So everything seems to work. If you have exactly the same, if you have exactly the same laptop, ship it to us. We're gonna fix it, no problem. All right? Thank you. Bye.